Uh, this is the American flag wrap. And this one here, I'm going to be going through the different sections of how I did the, the flag wrap itself. Uh, if you've been following this at all, uh, this is the shorts that I've been doing all sped up. Uh, this time around, I'll be going through it a little bit slower. Um, I'll probably do some fast forwards at certain points, but um, try to show it a little bit better this time around. And um, hopefully you like what you see. Now what we're gonna do is we have to get the spacing set up for the guides. Uh, what I use is the taper offset spacing uh, calculator. It's an app on my phone. Um, you should be able to just search it on your app store and, and pull that up. Um, so essentially what you do for this is you get the, um, the starting point uh, on the rod, you determine the size, and then you determine where you want it to go and how, off, how, how many different uh, points you want to put on there. Um, the app's pretty intuitive, so you give it a shot there and that works. Uh, so for instance, since this is a spinning rod, um, I take the, the 1E axis and use that as the top, and then the 0 axis, axis is uh, the bottom part. And you just space those out, and you can see that here where I have the, um, where the, where I have the rod uh, mapped out. So in here now is I'm starting the top portion of the flag. Each section has five threads. Uh, we start off with red and alternate between that and white uh, until we have uh, seven passes. Uh, we only go up one way and then it tie it off for each one. So just a quick overview here um, for the red and white portion of the flag. Um, with the five threads, you want to make sure that they're flat and uh, as packed as, as much as you can so you can actually can see the distinct portion of it. Um, otherwise, I'll have issues later on. This top portion here, then I'll start with uh, the blue metallic twist, which will represent the blue portion of the flag. And the twist gives a kind of a, an effect of stars. So I think it looks pretty cool. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll just speed up the a portion here because there's there's quite a bit of back and forth and then uh, once I get to a different portion then I'll give you an update. So at this point we're adding the white thread and then uh, I'm packing it as I go along, making sure that it's flat up against the existing red thread. Um, do the same thing for the red, uh, followed by the rest of the red and white after this. Um, so I, for this point, I'm, I'm just gonna fast forward to the rest until I get to the second portion. haven't already um, hit the like button and the subscribe all right thanks So now it's time to do the blue metallic twist. Uh, for this portion, I go the opposite way that I've been going, um, using five threads again, uh, and this time I'm doing four separate passes. 
uh, all in the same direction. Uh, so then you'll start to see the, the flags start to develop here. Metallic. I'm going to start getting the, the bottom portion set up. Uh, it's the same as the top, uh, just start off with white instead of red and repeat the same process until that part is done. And then after that, then I'll take a uh, single metallic thread to start to accentuate the, the flag itself. Uh, when I do that part, I'll, I'll pop back on again. bottom portion of the flag finished so now I'm going to go through with the, the single uh, metallic to outline the flag. I uh, just go around the four parts of the flag just so you can see the, the difference here and then uh, that'll be for that part there. flag is essentially done. Um, now I have to take the gold and I'll go through and fill in all the gaps. Um, when I do this, I do five thirds at a time. Same concept as with the, the flag itself. Just keep it flat and keep packing it as I go. Um, for this, I'll probably do a, a little bit where I show you how I do it and then speed through the rest of it. And then, uh, that's really it for how the wrap is. And, um, at the end, and I'll show you the finished product.
that wraps up this uh, this video for the American flag wrap. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. Uh, hopefully I <laughs> did better on this one than I did my original flag wrap. Um, I'm going to be putting out another one for the, the hook keeping or Chevron that I did. Um, Got to edit that, so that's going to take a little bit, but uh, should be out.